There's not really a set definition of whistleblowing, but the, the main thing is it's about raising the alarm, bringing to the attention of someone that there's something going wrong. It's been a breach of legal obligation, a breach of health and safety, possibly damage to the environment, a miscarriage of justice, or someone's trying to cover up any of these things. That's essentially what it's about, bringing that to someone's attention, raising the alarm. Whistleblowing is, is, is really where an individual says to someone else, usually someone in, in, in a position of responsibility, look, there's something wrong here, we're quite worried and we need to be looking at this because someone might be hurt, the environment, the environment might be damaged, there might be a breach of a legal obligation, something is going wrong. There's no obligation to produce or collect any particular kind of evidence. It's really to have a reasonable belief that something is going wrong that you want to then report as the employee or the person doing whistleblowing. Um, typically it could be that you write an email, that you send a letter, you put something in writing saying that you're a bit worried about something, this is what you're worried about, or it could be just speaking to someone and saying, I'm a bit concerned about this, this damage or harm being done or something's not being done right. So it could be spoken or in writing and that's the evidence. There's no obligation to raise evidence before they uh, tell their employer about the problem or the concern. Um, it can be useful, it can help pin down the problem, but legally in terms of the protections under the law they don't have to have evidence, they just have to have a reasonable belief that there is a genuine 